Hi everyone. I'm reading a 1L classic today, The Runaway P. Now we love this book in our class. Okay. Before we start, can you remember what happens in this story? Take a moment to pause the video and tell your adult what happens. Let's see if you've remembered correctly. The Runaway P. It's six o'clock and we're ready for tea. But look, what's that? It's a runaway pea! He pinged off the plate with an incredible force and then slipped and went splat in a puddle of sauce. The carrots and peas were all laughing with glee. With glee. You didn't get far, you piddling pea! Just watch, said the pea, I've hardly begun. I might only be small, but I want to have fun. The pea shot away with a skip and a hop. Then into the dog bowl he fell with a plop. Climb, little pea, climb up the side. Quick, before Boris's mouth opens wide. The runaway pea jumped amazingly high and so nearly landed in Boris's eye. He rolled along Boris's back in a flash, but a flick of the tail sent him flying off. Splash! Where am I? He wondered. His head really hurt. Get out of my tank, said Adele with a squirt. She's spitting him out. He fell on a mouse trap, which snapped with a bang and bounced off a cobweb that stretched and went twang. He came to a rest on a high dusty shelf. So far, so good, smiled the pea to himself. Surely there's nothing else left to go wrong. Then a fan started up and it blew him along. And what's that below with an orangey glow? It's the slot in the top of the toaster. Oh no! In the pea fell, unable to stop, and the toaster pinged up with an almighty pop. Ow! cried the pea. My bottom's on fire as he flew straight onto the tumbling dryer. buffered and battered and bounced all about. The pea was so glad when he finally got out. He collapsed on a shirt that had been newly washed. Look out, little pea, or you're going to get squashed. He tumbled and rolled along out of control. Under the fridge to a dark, sticky hole. Too weary to move, he let out a groan. Then he got a strange feeling he wasn't alone. Out of the gloom came mysterious shapes, a dried up banana and two mouldy grapes. Oh dear, said the pea, what happened to you? We were naughty, they said. We all ran away too. We don't recommend it, they whimpered quite sadly. You'll get old and wrinkled and start to smell badly. I've changed my mind, said the runaway pea. I'll get back on that plate and be ready for tea. You won't, said the grapes, because you've been on the floor. Runaway pea, you're not loved anymore. The little pea trembled. He knew it was true. There was nowhere to go for him, nothing to do. Helpless and hopeless and feeling forlorn, his tired eyes closed and he gave a big yawn. <sighs> but a magic thing happened while he was asleep. Can you remember what? He woke up beside the recycling heap. The soil was soft and the weather was sunny and soon the pea started to feel a bit funny. Under the ground he was sprouting some roots and out of his top he was shooting out shoots. The shoots all, have pod, all had pods and inside every one was, was a party of new peas all bursting with fun. So if you should ever hear popping or splat or a sploosh in the sink or a yowl from the cat or a rapidy tap in the cupboard, then please don't panic. It's only those runaway peas. And that's the end and we get to see loads and loads and loads of peas. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye everyone.